One of the things that we want our young players to do is, or I should say not do, is we don't want them to cut the baseball. Now, for those of you who may not know, cutting the ball means just this. It's like I'm going to take off half the ball. This is called supination. This is called pronation. And what I do when I throw, I want to be flat through the center of the ball. The natural tendency of the hand is to do this, is to supinate or come off the ball. Obviously, when I do that, when a player does that, they lose velocity, they lose force behind the ball. So we want to give them some, some aids to think of how to accomplish that. First aid would be to grip the ball correctly. You can see my thumb is in the center, my two fingers are on a four seam grip. And in essence, what I do is I come down like this. Again, I don't cut the ball. For a, a younger player that may not understand this, and again, you're working with the body's natural inclination to do this, to supinate or cut the ball, what we do is we offer some visual aids. We use a softball. It's a bigger, it's a bigger ball, obviously and the player can get the idea of, of coming flat through those seams, okay? Another image we use is we do points like this, but another image is, is that I tell the players when they throw, they want to come through a tunnel, and at the end of that tunnel, I don't want to see if that's a train engine, I don't want to see it like this, I want to see it like this. So through the tunnel, out the door with those four seams. This is actually one of my favorites. This is a made by a company called Skills, but there's a lot of small balls like this, and this is great because I can get the seams running like this. I can put the player's whole hand, and I can get them to spin it so those seams stay nice and flat. It's a great thing. Not too big for a, for a kid, but they won't come off the ball. They can see the seams. I just tell them, rotate it so I see those seams going flat. Another thing we, we can use with some of the older players, I, I use a, uh, a soccer ball, same thing. Now because this, because this is flat, now the player's tendency is to come flat. And, and he doesn't want to, to cut it because that will give misdirection on the ball. And if necessary, sometimes we'll even use a, uh, a basketball. And again, the fact that we have the seams here, I just say, okay, grab the ball. So the seams are running across like this and just point it so those seams and rotate it so the seams stay flat. We want a flat release. We don't want supination or cutting the ball. We encourage the players to think of divide the, the ball into half or divide it into better to divide it into three parts and stay through the center.